Hey Scrappers, it's Vanessa here, and today I am coming to you with a video for the Learning is an Adventure YouTube Hop, which was organized by Sarah Scraps. And so that means I am documenting something about learning. And so I figured the best collection that I can use to do that was my Secret Not Secret Kit Club kit, which is also my September stash kit was featuring the Pink Fresh Office Hours collection. And so that is what you see me showing you here. I pulled some items from that kit and I'm going to put this layout together using that because we are going to be talking about going back to school. In the, in my case, it's a picture of my daughter who is going back to school. And so the first thing here, I am just going to take this green cardstock and I'm going to gut the middle of it because I do want to use this to mat my photo. So I'm just taking the center out so that I'll be able to do that. And this will act as sort of the frame or the final mat behind my entire layout. Now I am taking this sort of light gray and white tone on tone geometric pattern paper and that will be my background. I actually don't do any mixed media on this. I kept it really clean and really simple. And so I'm just using that as my background. And then my kit also included some pieces of graph paper, which is really kind of fun, especially for a back to school layout. And so I am taking one of those pieces of graph paper and I'm forcing it into my trimmer. <laughs> it's a little bit larger than my trimmer wants to accommodate, but I make it work. And I am going to use this piece of graph paper on my layout as well. So I do like that sort of added interest and texture that that brings. Now behind that graph paper, because it is thinner, I am going to add an additional layer, which is this green wood grain paper. And so I'm just gonna cut that down and that is gonna go there behind my graph paper. So I have multiple layers that will make up my background for this layout. Cause again, I'm not doing any mixed media. So I needed to add some sort of interest to my background. And so I'm gonna do that with my paper layers here. So once I have that, that basically is going to make up my background. And I will go ahead here in a second and I'm, you're going to see me mat my photo and I'm just using one photo and it's a four by six and I turned the photo black and white because uh, the colors in it weren't going to match the sort of colors that I was pulling for this layout and I wanted to not have the photo sort of compete with the other colors. So I did turn it black and white, which I, I like to do that, especially when I know I want to use a specific photo, but the colors maybe don't work with the papers that I want to use. So in this case, I was definitely being inspired by the papers that I had as opposed to be inspired by the photo. So hence the black and white. Now here you see, I am just going to go ahead and build out my clusters. And basically I'm just gonna take all those bits and pieces that I showed at the beginning of the video. And I'm gonna use those to build two main embellishment clusters for this layout. Now, while you watch me build my clusters, I will talk a little bit about this photo. So this is my daughter and she is, this is her back to school photo for this year. Now this is her back to school photo and I will likely scrap this again and you'll probably see it as a video up on my channel at some point. But this layout is not so much to document her per se going back to school, but is more to document the fact that mummy is, and that's exactly what my title is. It says mummy's not ready. And it's basically, I want it to sort of just document my thoughts of the fact that I'm not ready or I don't feel ready to have a daughter who is already going into high school, her first year of high school. So she is grade nine and mommy is not definitely not ready for having a child that is in high school and growing up so fast. So this is sort of yeah, it's a learning layout and it's definitely a learning for a mummy and the fact that her baby is growing up 
and she's not so sure she's ready for it. So that's sort of what I'm going to be documenting on this one. So I have a little documenting spot that says take note there, a little journaling block. I will probably do some additional journaling on the back of this layout, but that is essentially what this layout is going to talk about is the fact that I can't believe, you know, she's already in high school. It's, it's crazy to me that she's in high school. So that is what I wanted to document for this one. So there you see, I have gotten everything glued down. And as a finishing touch for this one, I have a few things that I ended up not using off to the side, but as a finishing touch, you can never go wrong with some Spiegel Mom scraps sequins. And so I'm just gonna dot a few of these sequins around each of my clusters and I will glue those down off camera. And the still photos will be coming up here at the end, but please make sure that you like and subscribe and that you hit that description box below and see all the other ladies participating in this hop and go and give them all some love. And so here guys are the still photos and I will catch you on the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.